G'day guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Pierre and this is Simple Homebrew. Today I'm doing a stout. I'm doing a Beer Co's Toby's Oatmeal Stout and it's going to have vanilla and maple syrup and all the little adjuncts like that that we are going to taste later on. This is a winter beer but I'm going to do this whole beer now and then we'll try to be here in the future when it actually ages properly. So I hope you like it. I'm not talking on the camera this time and it's a little bit different. Cheers guys, see you at the end. I hope you can hear me guys, it's just amazing how nice this smells, it's just beautiful. house at the bottom of Chester Street. What is it that you've turned up? Well, this house, the Furs, was the home of Thomas Bravender. Uh, he, was a, he was a very methodical engineer, but he was also an amateur architect.
and jerking. Well guys, this is it. I'm um, testing this uh, beer, tasting it for the first time. Uh, it was a bit of a doozy to make. A uh, few little problems I had. Basically it fermented very funny. Uh, it seemed to stop very quickly. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I think it may have been the way I, or the temperature I actually mashed it in at. I think it was a, a bit high. It might have, I think it should have been a bit lower to get the more fermentable uh, sugars out of it which is something you have to learn as you go. The instructions do say you need to mash it at 68 degrees Celsius, and uh, I believe it should have been maybe 65 if you want more fermentable sugar. So if, if it did it at 68, it's probably gonna be a sweeter beer. That's all right, that's fine. So the starting gravity was 1063, which is a bit higher than they anticipated. I think it was 1055 they wanted it to be, which is fine. It was a bit more sweet than it should have been and it fermented down to 1016 and I could not get it to ferment down anymore. And also I added maple syrup to it to bring the sugars back up, which should have fermented down as well, but I think the yeast was done. So it doesn't matter, it carbonated okay. It's a bit different than I thought it would be. Being that it's a stout, I thought it would be very dark. Um, on the contrary, well, really it is dark. It is very dark to be honest. If I plug this light in, hang on. Bring a light over. See if we can, you can see. It's if you can see that it's got a little bit of a red tinge to it, which is fine. It's not actually very. It's dark, but it's not dark, dark. It's not extremely dark. Does that make sense? Uh, not like a stout. The head retention wasn't good because my glass was dirty. If you saw that in my video, I did scrub it with bicarbonate soda, but it didn't. Re oh, that smells good. Now. Oh my god, that smells good. Okay, I'm not complaining. This smells great. It um, has a vanilla smell. I can smell the maple, um, or the maple syrup. I can also smell coffee, chocolate. It's got a bit of a bite on the nose, but I think that's a, a time, it needs time to age a little, maybe another week. Uh, it's been in my other one fridge. The, the fridge doesn't seem to go as cold as the kegerator. So when I chucked it in the kegerator, it really cooled down. Oh no, no, that's not how it works. Now, I actually sat it out for a week uh, at room temperature, which room temperature dropped down to about 14 degrees uh, as our weather starts to go to spring, uh, autumn, which means winter's coming. So the weather got cold and everything started to ferment slower. But I didn't temperature control it, which I really, really should have. But anyway, oh, it smells good. It smells malty. Vanilla's not that dominant, but it's there. Like I said, it's very coffee very chocolatey. When I was brewing it, oh my god, the coffee smell that came out was absolutely awesome. And the chocolate smell. It, I thought, I had the image of being in a, a chocolate factory, it was that good. Anyway, let's try it. Wow, thinner than I thought. Hang on. Oh. Uh, it's carbonated, good and carbonated. Um, very chocolatey, I can taste the coffee. It's, the, the smell denotes the flavour. It's very much the same. The, the, you know, you, some beers you drink it, you smell it and you go, mouth-wateringly beautiful. I cooled this down. Before I cooled it down, I tried it and it was very, very, very creamy in flavour. And I have to say, it still is tasting very nice. I think after about another two weeks, maybe a month, this will age better and it'll even smooth out more. It's a, still a bit harsh on the tongue. Nowhere near as bitter as it was a week ago. Mmm. That's a beautiful beer. That's really nice, I do like it. Um, I'm saying, I'm, I'm thinking it's more like a brown ale. Uh, it's got a little bit of a slight burnt taste to it, which is fine, which is stout, you know. Mmm. I'm really happy with that. That actually came out really nice. It's sweet, as expected, at that gravity, um, but it's still quite a nice beer. It turned out exceptionally nice. This will age really well, and it will taste better in a month's time. I'm getting a, a, a aftertaste, which is, look, look, the vanilla's there, but it's not very dominant. I would, would have liked it to be more 
more dominant as vanilla. I did scrape it out cleanly and make it nice, but it's well worth it. Give it a go, guys. This is Beer Co's recipe kit. It's not bad at all. It reminds me... Wow. It reminds me of Coca-Cola. I'm sorry, like a vanilla Coke. Um, it is 6.17%, so 6.2%, let's say. It's like a bitter vanilla Coke. How's that? Does that give you an idea on what it tastes like? And the feel in the mouth? Very similar. Wow, it really does. <laughs> How dumb, but really nice. That is a very good drink. Uh, guys, give it a go. Uh, I'll put a link to the recipe down there. And hopefully, you guys will get something out of it. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you to my patrons for looking after the channel again. And thank you to my YouTube members as well. They're coming up now. We've got five members. We've got ten Patreon members. And these guys are supplying funds to be able to do beers like this. To brew them, to support you guys and show you what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I do get some free stuff. People just send me out-of-date stuff sometimes to do. And a lot of the time they come out pretty good too. So guys, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Say hi in the comments down below. And uh, subscribe, please, if you really like what you see. Cheers, guys. More to come. Have a great one.